The Earth On our planet Earth, humans have some very old, well-hidden sources of energy. Millions of years ago, organic materials, plants, marine animals, have decomposed on the seabed. Millions of years to convert organic substances exposed to great pressure into natural gas and fossil fuels. Then, entire forests are decomposed in turn, generation after generation. Far deep into the earth, millions of years for the forest to turn into fossil energy. Yes, millions of years for it to become oil, natural gas and coal. Energies that can never be renewed. Energies that we lose forever. And one day people found in the depths of the earth these fossil energy sources that cannot renew themselves. Here's the history of these non-renewable fossil energy sources. From fossil energy sources such as petrol, man can move vehicles and produce electricity. That's right, it's very useful. But the more we drive cars, the more we waste gasoline. Furthermore, thanks to fossil fuels, man can now feed electrical plants to generate electricity. And electricity, everybody needs it. For factories and family. But the factories consume a lot of electricity they devour enormous amounts of fossil fuels. Fuel, yum yum. Gas, yum yum. Coal, yum yum. But see, the more these factories consume fossil fuels, the more they reject waste. Fuel, gas, coal. Pollution, pollution, pollution. <laughs> then, humans, who like to think, told themselves that they must try something else. Using the properties of a rare mineral, but alas not renewable, uranium. They managed to build nuclear power plants that do not pollute. But if uranium is not a fossil fuel, it's a mineral, and we don't really know how to get rid of it. Once we've used it, made radioactive after use, it becomes extremely dangerous for humans. Fossil energies, pollution. Nuclear energy, pollution. But why do we use them? Well, because non-renewable energies are not that expensive, even if they are not eternal. So, so then, people who are quite smart realized they should watch their energy consumption and focus more on energies that do not pollute. What we call renewable energies. It is indeed with renewable energies that we can hope to save our beautiful planet Earth. <laughs> <laughs>